Some of the world's top athletes have arrived in the Rocket City and are preparing for the UCI Paracycling Road World Cup. About 350 athletes will represent 40 plus countries over the next couple of days. And News 19's Kayla Smith is joining us live from Cummings Research Park with more on this event. Kayla. If you've taken a drive around Research Park over the past few days, you've probably noticed a whole lot of cyclists getting ready for race day, and it's finally upon us. It all gets started today, and I am joined here live by Erin. She is the director, executive director of Cummings Research Park, where we will see all of this race action this weekend. So um, thank you for being here with thank us. Uh, tell me a little bit about what went into bringing this event to Huntsville. Well, we've actually been planning for this and hoping for this for many years. Um, started with the Paralympics Open uh, for two years running, and then our team really has spent the last year planning and working towards this effort, and here we are today. And what does it mean to bring this event to Cummings Research Park? Uh, it's an honor, actually, to be able to host this many nations and these athletes and what they're doing um, on the roads as they compete. Uh, they really are defining what is possible. And uh, we are just an honor to be that place, to build awareness of the city and Cummings Research Park on the international stage yet again. And I hear that there's a lot going on this weekend. So yes. what should people expect to come out and see? Sure. So today and tomorrow we have the individual time trials. That's where athletes compete against the clock. But really the what I find most exciting is on Sunday and Monday are the road races. This is where they're they're racing in a pack. There's lots of excitement. We want people to come out, pack a picnic, pack your chairs. Lots of great racing to watch and cheer many athletes. And then we end Monday night with a hand cycle relay, which is exciting. Um, all out for a mile and a half and then fireworks around 8 15 to 8 30 p.m. on Monday night. So there's so much to be excited about. Um, I know I'm excited and if you want some more details about this event and what you can expect this weekend check out our website whnt.com. I'm back to you guys in the studio.